Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is a bright Monday, all right? So your work week, the start of your work week today, we're gonna get started talking about um, living in the light. And the scripture is coming from 1 John, the first chapter, and we're focusing on the seventh verse. 1 John, seventh verse. Um, so let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you for giving us this word to start our week for um, our work with God, that we will have something strong in us to take us um, throughout today and throughout this week, um, tackling anything that is thrown at us, God, that we will continue to look upon this word all this week and know Somewhere, somehow, where you're taking us, even though we don't know, but we're going to give you all the glory and all the praise, God, as we take this word and embed it into our heart. Whatever is said, God, let it be said from you and only you, God, that we may hear. Even the speaker right now, God, is going to hear from you, God, and to, to know what is right and what is um, from you, God, and just to the, dissect this word so that we can understand and, and understand and love your word and you more better, God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so um, I'm going to read the verse, the verse first, and then um, I'm going to look at the, the outline of the entire chapter. So it comes in as, but if we are living in the light, as God is in the light, then we will have fellowship with each other. Hmm. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleans us from all sin. Hmm. So when I take a look at what's going on, of course, this is the first chapter of first John. And um, it's pretty much talking about what has happened so far. That's what it seems like. Um, Jesus came down. He did what he needed to do. And um, we proclaim to you the one who existed from the beginning. So they are saying, God, I know you from the beginning. Jesus, I, I knew you was from the beginning. Whom we have heard and seen. So he had to specifically talk about Jesus because he hasn't heard God. He only seen Jesus. Um, we have heard God. But he only seen Jesus. Let me make sure I correct that. We saw him with our own eyes and touched him with our own hands. He is the word of life. Mm, that's a good one. This one who is life itself was revealed to us and we have seen him. And now we testify and proclaim to you that he is the one who is eternal life. He is with our father and then he was revealed to us. We proclaim to you that we ourselves have actually seen and heard so that you may have fellowship with us. So it seems like as if he's preaching to the crowd and letting them know that Jesus came and he fellowship with us. Now we 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 seen him, we heard him, and all of this just so that we can continue to fellowship. And our fellowship is with the Father and with his son Jesus. We're writing these things so that you may fully share this joy. All right. So then it says living in the light. This is where our verses come from. This is a short chapter also. This is the message we heard from Jesus and now declare to you, God is light mm -hmm. and darkness does not, is not in him at all. Mm -hmm. So we are lying if we say we are fellowshipping with God, but go on living a spiritual darkness. We are not practicing the truth. So that's where living that light come from. So in other words, I went to go get the um, the word on Sunday and then today is like whatever about that word. Um, don't remember the word. It hasn't embedded it in us in this word. And that's why in my prayer I said, let this word today kind of guide us today, but guide us for the rest of this week as well. It doesn't just it's just not heard on one day and then we totally forget about it. You know, if something goes wrong, we revert back to that word. If we need a little bit of joy, we say, okay, that word. You know, we, we want our minds to constantly think about this word throughout the day um, to give us some type of joy throughout the day. Okay. Um, but if we are living the light as God is in the light, that's where the seventh verse, that's where our verse come from. But if we're living in the light, 
as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with each other. Um, and it didn't, it didn't say a specific group either. It didn't say our family only, our friends only. It said each other. So it, it's, it's, it's pretty much talking about who we're going to fellowship with. Of course, you're going to fellowship with like-minded people, you know. Uh, fellowship to me seems as if I am going to um, sit around and talk and have fun, get some dinner, get some lunch, you know, <clears throat> have this desire to move in Christ, you know, not people that are going to make you want to forget the word, you know, because you don't want to be convicted. It's like-minded individuals and fellowship because that simply means talk about what happened yesterday. It doesn't always have to be about what happened at church or what did a preacher say. You can fellowship about work. You can fellowship about um, what what good sermon you heard lately, or what scripture you read lately, or it could be, hey, I saw I went to Belts the other day, and you, you know, oh yes, mm, I, you know, just fellowshipping, you know, having a conversation. But you can also talk about life. This is what I'm going through, and this and that. I give you a good example. My mom was talking to this lady, and they, it, it, it's just, it's just. My, my soul was just lifted because, you know, they were talking about similar things. And it, it's, it's, and it's like both of them was like, oh, yeah, me, yeah, me too. You know, and I'm like, okay, you know, and I, I want her to see, you know, because that brings motivation to each other. When you can talk about what you went through together and they can see, oh, wow, you're, you're doing good right now. Even though you still have your struggles, you don't look like what you've been through. And it's like, it, it's motivation. And that's what true fellowship is is you know it doesn't always have to be a bible walking talking from the scriptures about jesus because some people are not and jesus know that you know jesus never came straight out and said scripture this and this first john matthew da, 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 you know my law did this no whenever they wanted to know more about the law that's when he talked about the law but he did most of his stories and parables think about a good story that somebody came and told you you are drawn in you want to know the end of the story it's like watching a good movie and that's how jesus drawed his people in he told them parables he told them examples about this and how he broke down the word but really and truly he was telling them the word that's the word that we have he was telling them the word and that's how he drew people in just by a word you know and you know it doesn't have to be dangerous and you know evil and it doesn't have to be that all the time it doesn't have to be about the stretches but i guarantee you people are going to say oh you look good and then you know just say yeah you know my life has changed and you know i'm, I'm living and depending on god you know it's like yeah 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 you know you look good. you know that's how you ease god in you know when they see that you look good they see that they heard some things about you, but you still don't look like what you've been through. That's the fellowship that we're talking about here, y'all. All right. Now it says that as God is in the light now, make sure that you're fellowshipping in the light. Then we will fellowship with each other and the blood of Jesus. All right. We will continue to fellowship with Jesus. Jesus may not be, we may not think physically Jesus is here. But Jesus is all around us. His spirit is walking around this earth right now. Um because even when he was crucified and he went away, his spirit, his spirit was still roaming. I still believe Jesus Christ is still roaming, okay? Even though we got the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is roaming. But I I just feel like it's just roaming. He has help. He has help. I think angels are here to help us still as well. That's just my opinion, y'all. This is me now. This is journey with Erica. I just feel like that that's just it, the spirits are just roaming. And I I I I fellowship with them, you know what I'm saying? Um, not in witchcraft type deal, but I fellowship, you know. Um, I'll give you an example of how I fellowship sometimes with just nature, you know. It's, um Right before my aunt died, I kept seeing this red corner light like, trying to knock on the window. And, you know, I'm like, okay, go away, cardinal. And the cardinal just came back every day and every day for every day. And then it stopped coming back 
a couple of days and that's when I realized my, my auntie had died. Um, and plus it was coming to the place where I was about to move to. So when my house was about to be built and something, there were some issues with the building and I, I stood on this foundation and I walked around the foundation several times. It wasn't being built yet. Went around several times and then I stopped and I was like, you know, amen. And I looked out and I saw this one little red flower. There's no other flower in this area that looks like that flower. It's just one little red flower. And red just stuck out to me, you know, red, red, red. And so every so often I'll see a red cardinal like riding around, you know, not, not riding, but, you know, flying around when I'm driving on the road and that red cardinal, I, I connected it with my auntie. So whenever I see a red cardinal, I'm like, oh, hey, auntie, you know, because she was very close to me and, you know, I love her, you know, so I continue to fellowship, you know, with with my like-minded individuals, the ones that I know that love God and want to live in the light and to give me some type of motivation. And that's what true fellowship is. True fellowship is just you're motivating each other and you're, you're just glorifying the King. You know, he has done so much great things for you and you don't have to continue to say it, but you can just show it. You can show that you're, you're doing good. You're looking good. And it continues on. If we claim that we are who we are and we say who we are, then we won't live in darkness. We will live in light. And light is living with the fellowship of lightness people all around us. And we can we can do that, y'all. We can definitely do that. So today, throughout this week, um, fellowship, you know, that's that's the word today, fellowship. If you are a true believer, then you fellowship so that more people will know the joy that you have on the inside. And what do you say? This joy I have, the world didn't give it. The world can't take it. But I sure can share it, though. <laughs> I can share this joy with people so that people will understand that God is so real. And he is still living on the inside of me and making sure that I am good. And I want to continue to pray, you know? So let's pray up. Lord, thank you for this word. Thank you for this simple word to just let us know that you are the light of this world and you have continued to be the light of this world. You have continued to open doors. You have continued to show us the path. You have continued to have your spirit to ride around in this world. And whenever we need you, God, you are always there. Whether we feel it or not, God, you are right there just hovering over us, you know, and you're letting us know that all things are possible with you, God, that if we continue to just to give you our hand and our heart and our mind and our body, God, we will see the glorious of God to continue to reign up in our life, God. God, we say thank you. We say thank you for all the things that you are looking to do within this week for us, God. We're going to claim it right now that it's going to be a praise worship and a praise fellowship with the people that are around us, that there's not going to be any harm and danger around us, God, because God, you're going to keep us safe, God. You're going to keep us safe because God, we are the reason, you are the reason that we are here today, God. You are the reason that we can see and hear this word, God. We, you are the reason where the fellowship starts and began with you, God. So God continues to give us those attributes that we should have in order to draw more people in and let them know that it's not about me, but it's all about you, God. And that will get more people to understand how their life is so connected with yours and that we're just living day by day just to make you more proud of us, God. So God, we say thank you. We love you and we praise your name each and every day. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Y'all have a great and wonderful day and I will see you very soon.